Hi, welcome to Ramco TV. My name is Brad Vori and I'm one of the automation specialists for Ramco. Are you looking for a replacement for your expensive hydraulic or pneumatic cylinder? How about an electric solution that is energy efficient along with high speed and very precise? I would like to present to you XLR's Tritex 2 actuator. Let's take a look. Today, I'm going to present to you the servo-based linear actuator produced by XLR. The Tritex 2 is an all-in-one linear actuator that combines a mechanical actuator along with the drive and servo for a complete standalone solution. While today I will focus on the linear actuator, the Tritex 2 package also offers a rotary servo motor. This will include the same options as what I'm going to talk about and can include an integrated gearbox for your high torque applications. Before I get into the specifics of the actuator, let's look at the mechanical structure. Unlike most actuators, the Tritex 2 linear actuator is based off of a patent inverted roller screw. Multiple helical rollers are assembled around a threaded shaft. Basically, this is what's converting your rotary movement into linear movement. But why is this roller screw better than typical ball screw designs? Ball screws have limited contact points inside the raceway, which limits how much force that can be transferred. A roller screw has much more contact surface area, which improves stiffness, along with a higher load capacity for similar sized screws. This design also allows for much higher speeds. Now back to ball screws. As the balls are rotating around, they have to return at some point, so they can circulate. This return causes collision which limits you how fast it can rotate. Again, the roller screw design does not have this problem. Another key advantage of this design is life. No matter who the actuator manufacturer is, when it comes to mechanical actuators, there's a lifetime expectancy. XLR actuators, when sized properly and maintained, can be expected to last in some cases 10 times longer than other ball screw based actuators. I mentioned this is a servo based actuator. This is actually not a servo coupled to a roller screw, but the servo is actually built in around the roller screw. Neodymium magnets are epoxied on the outside of this casing. Now this becomes your rotor. The stator is wound around the outside of the rotor. Now we have a motor. There is an encoder along the back side of the actuator which gives the actuator its extreme precise precision. The drive is on top, which is programmable via an easy to use software. The XLR Tritex can come in a variety of screw leads depending on the force requirements. Standard lengths are available as short as three inches all the way up to 18. They can also provide various mounts, including a rear clevis, front and rear flanges, trunnions, tie rods, to fit virtually any application. This is a brief overview of the mechanical structure. Now let's take a look at what's available on the electrical side. Actuators come in AC voltage from 115 to 230 volts AC and they can provide 4,000 pounds of continuous force and 10,000 pounds continuous force for a short amount of time. Speeds can range to up to 33 inches a second depending on the lead. DC actuators are also available and they can range from 12 volts DC to 48 volts with forces from 1,000 pounds to 1,300 pounds for a short amount of time. Speeds can range up to 33 inches a second. As I mentioned earlier, this has a built-in controller, so no panel space is required to operate this actuator. So along with having built-in controller, we have a number of inputs and outputs available to operate. These actuators have eight digital inputs and four digital out as well as analog in and out for remote speed and torque control. For those who like to have complete control, XLR offers communication protocols including serial, Ethernet IP, Modbus, TCP, Profinet, and CAN Open. All these features are housed in the actuator in an IP54 or IP65S rating. Other housing options are available with special coatings for certain environments. 
You may be thinking, how hard is this to operate? It's not as difficult as you may think. Xlar offers free programming software that is easy to use. Be sure to check out Ramco TV for part two on some of the programming features. Part three, I will talk about some application ideas for how you can use this. More and more companies today are thinking about energy savings and how to do processes more efficient with less scrap. With the XLR Tritex 2, you can do just that. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you like more information or would simply like a live demonstration with your team. Thank you and be safe out there.